Sir Galahad, Sir Galahad, the people cheer as he walks through the streets. Already a living legend at such a young age, he shares his father's talent with a range of weapons and is a crowd favourite at any tournament he attends. Not just that, but he has a charm that all the ladies love. I have never before met a man so fortunate. Although popular with the ladies, he has never met anyone to share his time with, as he is devoted to the kingdom. As we speak, he readies himself for the adventure of a lifetime. At Arthur's request, Galahad will journey far to the east in search of the Holy Grail. I do wish him well, for it will not be an easy journey. I am just thankful he has Percival and Bors to assist him, for the three of them together will be able to overcome any obstacle. Growing up, the three of them were always getting into trouble, going off on adventures and causing grief for the local farmers. As they grew older, Galahad's father directed their talents to hunting down any poachers or thieves that threatened village life. This is where they would truly learn to survive, spending days in the wilderness, tracking the movement of bandits and living off the land. With enough time, their skin became hardened and their minds resilient. Upon returning from their final hunting expedition, they would take part in their first tournament. Galahad fought well and impressed the other knights. He was only beaten by his father and by Percival who knew all of his tricks. As for the rest of the knights, they would not forget his name anytime soon. The time finally came for the three of them to make their vows and pledge their service to King Arthur. Galahad and Percival's devotion would prove to be worthwhile, as Arthur saw their value and invited them to join the Knights of the Round Table. This was a great honour for both of them, along with Galahad's father, Sir Lancelot, who had earned his place many years before. Remind me to tell you of his bravery next time.